What's up, guys? It's definitely time for our Halloween read. We're checking in on this week's energy. I really hope you guys are excited to give it a workout. Let's do this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Spookoween version of your weekly energy check-in. I am your favorite 80s workout girl. My name is Isa. Welcome to the Mystic Leo. I am a very proud Leo. They call me the Mama Leo around here. We're just gonna get funky and crazy. I've got my special little Halloween glass here and we're gonna have some fun doing the read for the week, okay? I hope you guys are having a very safe and fun holiday. So, um, take the parts that resonate. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leave the stuff that doesn't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, you can check out the older readings or you can go to my other channel. It's linked down below in the description box. It's called Intuitive Tarot with Isa. Right, you can see your other signs there. Um, description box says everything you need to know about me, etc., etc. And please, last but not least, guys, do not forget to smash the like button if you enjoy my content and my crazy wackiness. And don't forget to subscribe and come on back and see me, okay, guys? So I'm going to make this a fun, long read for you. So let's see what we got here with the charm board. Remember I got this? Okay, cool. Let's take a look. Whoa, stuff's flying everywhere. That one's in my crotch. That one's gone. <laughs> I hate to tell you guys, it's gone. All right. You guys, there is a lot in your travel, friendship sex section, okay? There is a lot here, and there's a lot kind of in the middle of it. So uh, let me go step by step here and see what we got we'll talk about your work first some of you may get may leave it you might leave your job or you may decide um i'm cool if you fire me okay so some of you may get let go or something happens on your job that you know uh affects you very deeply here but it feels more like you're either leaving or some of you are losing a position okay in the home, it looks to me like we have the world. This is great. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy here. Um, some of you may be closing on a brand new home or you're closing the doors to your old house for the very last time and selling your house. I'm also getting something around the doors and or your security systems. Some of you may need to look at batteries or replace things, you know, charge the ring camera or do something with the camera outside. Um, I feel like there's something that just needs to be updated when it comes to that, okay? So you could be handling that this week. Now in your travel sector, hello, some of y'all going to the mountains, some of y'all and love. We've got all these hearts. You could be traveling to see somebody doing a romantic getaway vacation is what I'm getting. Here's another heart. And then you have the mountains here. So I'm getting, you know, the Rockies, Colorado, all sorts of yummy stuff. Now in the middle of the travel and the friendship was the six of cups in reverse, which makes me feel like, um, some of you could be doing this because you're getting over a relationship for others of you. It's going to resonate when I say you and your ex are going to try to spend some time to see if you can reconcile a, uh, uh, like a, um, a connection. Okay. There could be some really bad memories for others of you that come up, uh, in this week around your relationships. Maybe you're remembering some stuff that you don't want to remember at this time because somebody's resurfaced and it's rehashed a lot of bad memories and you do not want to make up with this person. Okay. You do not want to reconcile with this person. You don't really want to talk to them. Um, and maybe you feel like somebody's kind of forcing their energy on you. Okay. In the in between, I have the bird, and for me, that's talking a lot about getting free from energies this week. Maybe when it comes to your love life, that really aren't supportive for you. We also have the cup, so I feel like some of you, you know, this bird represents the freedom while you're doing the traveling, or maybe you have the freedom to travel, but I also get celebrating and having a really good time here as well. Anytime we get this weird butterfly skull dagger thing, I'm always like, huh? 
but we have it. It's in the friendship zone. And we also have the whale. Um, and we also have the sun. So I'm seeing that for some of you, friendships are going really well. I'm just going to call this my death card. I'm going to call this my transformational death card energy. So you could be reconciling with a person. Um, whales for me, I, I, I'm not sure. I can't really remember what they say about whales as far as like a, a spirit animal, but I get some sort of silent communication here. So some of you you may be feeling distant from a friend or they're feeling distant from you, but I feel like you guys have a talk um, and you clear whatever this energy is up between the two of you, okay? So um, there could be some sort of friend reconciliation between you and another person. Um, for some of you, maybe, you're, maybe the person that you want to speak to is a little bit afraid of their feelings and talking about it and they're afraid to lose the friendship. Um, but I feel like you'll work this out with this person. Okay. All right. Now you guys know on the back of this is a yes or no question. There's yes, no, unclear, all of the, all of the stuffs. So we're going to do a yes or no question. Let me get a good one. I'm going to use the, uh, this little be free one. I feel like that's a good one because it's kind of round. So I want you to focus on your yes or no question. Okay. And, um, I want you to ask your question and I'm going to drop this and tell you what the answer is. All right, my guys. All right, let's look one, two, three. This is going to be unclear at this time. This means that there could be a transition that's happening like right, right now, um, the final outcome is yet to be seen. Okay. I have some of my spooky sauce. All right, cool. Now that we did the charm board, which I know you guys enjoy, let's jump in and look at some oracles. So today I have my tea leaves. I wish I could put my thing down a little bit lower so you guys can see the table. I didn't want to do in my room today because I wanted to have like the spooky background with the lighting and my candles and stuff. So I'm going to swish these all out here and I'm going to get a few of these. Okay. So whatever's feeling energetically good to me. Two. I'm going to get about five, three, four. And this one looks really nice. Five. So let's talk about that and what we have here, what you guys can expect for the week. Oh, the bat. How fitting. <laughs> Me and my friends call each other baby bats. Just FYI. <laughs> All right. Take care. Enemies are working against you. My goodness. What is with this weirdo energy, guys? I keep getting that enemy card. And like I said before, there could be a reconciliation between you and a friend, but I feel like there's fears around that, or maybe they don't want to reconcile for whatever reason. We also have the ink pot problems to be resolved. Okay. We have the pale time to get out of a situation. This could be the job for some of you. It could be that friendship too. We have an exciting event the gong and we have love this week. Okay. So I do like some of these energies. It just feels like there's something weird and maybe unfinished between you and a person, whether it's romantic or a friendship. Um, and I feel like, you know, there could be people working against you. This could be a friend. Like maybe you find out a friend has been like saying or doing things behind your back. You go to approach this person. This person really isn't trying to have the conversation. Um, and I feel like, you know, they may not want to reconcile either, or maybe you just don't. Okay. Um, I like this love card though. So definitely this could be on a job too. Like I said, definitely nice energy so far. Okay, let's get a couple of Zodiac cards. I will get into tarot after I do some of these preliminary um, cards. All right. I want to play music, guys, but I get so sidetracked with my ADD. Like, I cannot. Because uh, next thing you know, I'll be like, let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. And that's not good. No, the whole time. 
and I'll be like throwing cards. I know how I am. All right. Just trust the process. I'm not okay. All right. Give me a couple cards. Tell me what's coming up for Leo this week. What can Leo expect this week with the weekly energy check-in? Okay. Okay. We got something happening here. Okay. I'm telling you. One more, please. There's something around clearing up some energy. This could be on your job. It could be with, with an actual friend on the job, a misunderstanding with you and, and um, somebody you work with or a friend, okay? Because it's coming up again with the um, with the olive branch. This is about a, coming to a truce or a peaceful place with somebody, um, kind of like the two of cups, making amends, you know, whatever war y'all are raging against each other, whatever beef y'all had, um, clearing that up. Okay. Somebody making a peace offering here and stopping the drama. We have child. So your children can be especially important to you this week. Um, you know, giving them your time. You might even have that kind of like childlike energy this week, having a lot of energy learning new things, exploring, learning to get out and play again and do things that you really love, you know, working with your inner child too. Now, these uh, particular signs that are going to be affected by this energy more are Taurus. Tor I always do that. It's not Taurus, Isa. It's not Taurus and Scorpio. A Torio. It's not a score. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Okay. So uh, definitely time for you to have more fun this week as well. Um, we have the thunderstorms. So there's an energy shift, a warning here. There could be some sort of conflict or opportunity to overcome something. I feel like you're going to have a little bit of rocky weather. And it says here, you got a timing card. Within a few weeks, the situation or event in question will develop or unfold within a matter of weeks. So there could be some, some rocky stuff coming your way, or it's possibly it's going to wrap up soon. Okay. And then we have the worry beads. Some of you are having some anxieties, some, some worries. This is about looking to at like your repetitive habits and thoughts and like things that you're saying this week. Okay. So you may find yourself having nervous tics. Um, the, I feel like this is a good time to explore where that energy is coming from. Okay. And learning to calm yourself down, passing, passing time, um, in a way that's productive for you. So it might look like you're looking into things that support you, not just sitting around and being in the anxiety and kind of perpetuating the same thing over and over again. Some of you could feel really bored this week with, um, with like what you're doing or that you're not really getting out and doing the things. So, you know, you're looking to get out and do the stuff. So, okay. Ears out, ears out. There, my ears are out. I feel like Pocahontas when my ears are out. But if it's starting to like really hurt, I don't know. This sucker's tight. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get like maybe three more cards. Let's get like three more cards. Did you all see my awesome fanny pack? Check this bad boy out. I can't wait to wear this sucker when I go out. <laughs> guys are gonna be like hey girl hey i'm gonna be like how you doing you like you like my lightning bolt earrings what do we got here for leo i even tried to do my makeup look at that i had some funky makeup i was like all right let's do this one more please what's coming leo's way this week what you got for my lovely lions and lionesses oh damn really I just wanted one card. I got two. Listen, watch out. Evil eye. Okay. Evil eye. Someone might be watching you, wishing you bad juju, um, envying you right now. So make sure you definitely protect yourself at this time, Leo. I don't know what's with all the damn haters, uh, that you're feeling right now, but they out there look at jealousy and gossip, people talking about you, people saying lots of stuff, you know, 
they better watch out what they're saying. You know why? Because it's not nice to say things that are untrue and small minds gossip and, and stuff about people. You know what I'm saying? Small minds do nasty things and say nasty things because deep down they get jealous of what other people are capable of, their energy and what they have. Okay. So just know that it's there. I feel like you're going to find out who is doing that and why they're doing it. We have the dog loyalty and determination. We have the shark again with people around you. Um, you could feel a little bit in survival mode, but I want to tell you, you have the gate. So it talks about your home again, you might be doing home improvements. Um, but this is about an opportunity that's coming your way. I definitely feel too this week that some of you may meet meet or make new friends or like meet a potential partner here that is going to um you know make you feel loved and make you feel cared for okay so very interesting energy this week y'all i'm like what the hell all right two more cards then we're gonna move on into tarot you know what i was thinking i do not have the financial cards out that's what i was looking for and i couldn't find if you guys give me two seconds I can probably pull those puppies out because I want to do this reading in money, love, career. Okay. Okay. You have the remember and the surrender card. So I feel like, again, the past cropping up, um, it could be that some of you need a better night's sleep. So I feel like surrender, let me just say this while I'm trying to see if I can spot these cards. I feel like what surrender means for you guys is that you need to listen to your body more often. So if your body's like, listen, you need to go to bed right now, then go to bed. All right, like you literally go night night, okay? Um, let me see if I can find where these cards are real quick. Mm, I think they're right here. Probably want to coordinate and heat it, right? Crambone. Probably want to coordinate and heat it, right? And crambone. Those aren't it. Frog, you want to coordinate and heat it, right? Sword and pistol by the sassy frog, you want to coordinate and heat it, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm an energetic mofo <laughs> when I have the energy. But I am, I do have coffee here too, you know. I gotta have go juice. All right, cool. This one is about manifesting success. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Let's do this. Y'all, I got into the biggest argument with the folks on the internet. Let me tell you what, there's a lot of people out there that don't know a damn thing about a damn thing. And when you come with facts, you know what they lean on? Insult. Listen, your ding dong showing like your, your unintelligence. All righty. <laughs> Let's go. All right. What else do we have here? There we go. Secret stash, saving pennies, finding money. Okay. So you can find some money this year or not this year. What am I? What am I talking about? You could find some money this week that you had stashed away and you forgot about it. Okay. Um, be careful of theft this week. So make sure you're watching over your things. As far as a career, you could have some hidden potential that you're actually not aware of. All right. Uh, for some of you that could be like, um, acting. Okay. You might discover that this week. We then have the gift. There could be people that are being extra generous to you and giving you gifts um, this week, you could get a surprise bonus at work. Uh, maybe some of you are going on vacation or some sort of financial support that you've been wanting or needing. Okay. I don't know why I get WIC or like some sort of government assistance, but it is coming up in my energy field. All right. It's coming up in my energy field. We get two of these cards. I hear Sachi in there eating her lunch. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. 
give me two cards for Leo. There we have it. Boom. We have the surprise. There's a, there's a financial surprise coming for you again. Okay. Um, and it says, be careful that you're not, be careful that you're being vague with people. Okay. You don't have to explain in full the reasons why you think what you do, what you say, what you do, but don't intentionally deliberately leave out stuff that's incredibly important for things. Okay. That may cost you later, but this is talking about a pleasant surprise coming your way. All right. I like it. And we also have the legacy. Your work is going to be passed down for future generations. This is good. So I see some of your money growing at this time. Um, there could be gifts from the ancestors, meaning that there is ancestral money coming to you. You could be um, getting something from an estate, from a will, from something like that. Okay. And if you feel disconnected from your ancestors, now is the perfect time to open that door and connect with them. Okay, my loves, because they want to bless you with things and you get to be open to that. All right. Cool. Hi, Saj. You good? She's over here licking her chops. Two cards for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Two cards, the weekly energy check-in. There we go. Molly gave me three. Okay. Oh, somebody is losing time with their kids somehow. This could be somebody you're involved in a debate over, you know, time with the children. I feel like somebody is losing time um, over the kids. Now, I'm also getting... I'm also getting if you have children like you, like your son or daughter going to school and somebody stealing their phone or stealing something from them or something from their backpack. OK, so you might want to tell your kids, you know, make sure you're not just leaving your backpack around places, especially let's say if they go to the like um, pick up some breakfast or something, you know, like to be mindful of not leaving their things around or keeping their eye on their things. There's somebody around that you can't trust. They, they, they can't trust. There's also, uh, possibly some sort of text or romantic message coming through here from somebody. Um, give me two seconds. This person could be a Libra. And I feel like they're telling you that they want to see you. Okay. This could also be like a, like the parent of your child. All right. Cool. Now we're finally getting into the main reading. We're going to take a look specifically at money, love and career. Okay. Okay. The last card I'm going to get for the Oracle is an astrological energy for this week. I'm just getting a message about somebody's feet and their toes and maybe sneakers or something. I don't know if it's a sh like a shoe, okay, a shoe issue or something, something you're, something's bothering your foot. Hold on. I mean, it's, it's sort of like whatever is happening to your foot is happening because of the footwear that you're wearing. Okay. So just maybe you might want to adjust that or you're not wearing a correct size or something about the pressure or the pressing on it. Okay. We have Neptune and the first house. So, wow. This talks about our physical body in the first house. This is about our self-awareness. This is the entry point. Um, it's about the stability of our consciousness and awakening. And we have 
dreams. There could be very powerful dreams telling you about things in your physical body at this time. So definitely pay attention to that. They could be telling you, you know, about, uh, your life's direction. Um, you could have a lot of stuff around your self image at this time. Maybe you're having some fantasies or escapism or something like that. But I feel like for many of you, the dreams are important because they're telling you about your spiritual work for yourself. Okay. Also, um, you could be having very powerful visions or dreams like predictive type of stuff, um, concerning like, um, like your, like your physical body is really what I'm getting here. Okay. Be, sh be aware too of like, um, like what you open yourself up to. Okay. So protecting yourself energetically. People have asked me before, what do you do? I wear oils. I wear items. I do meditations. I do like white bubble stuff. I just kind of energetically separate myself and kind of cover myself a little bit when it comes to that. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a thing around self love here this week as well. Okay. All right, cool. Let's get into it. I saw somebody just responded to one of my comments on that argument. They made it an argument. Listen, I don't argue with stupid people. Stupid people are stupid people. You know. What are you going to do? All right. Show me money this week. Any changes in money? How is money looking for Leo? I, I It feels pretty good so far. Can I have three cards? Money for Leo this week money for leo this week great one more please money for leo this week there we go um this week is going to be about budgeting the reason why you're having a trouble moving forward or you have a fear of moving forward is because you're concerned about money um, and how to make money grow at this time, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles and death in reverse Scorpio energy. So death in reverse tells us it's time to notice what our, what our patterns are. So it may be well time for you to sit down and look at like what your pattern is. If you're not getting to your financial goal, then there's something that keeps happening and a pattern that you're not taking notice to that you need to dig into and be like, really, do I need another, you know, $150 for my nails right now? Or can I find a cheaper way to do this? Okay. So I feel like this is about cultivating better habits with the seven of pentacles, um, and saving your money. A lot of you are focused on your financial security at this time, but you're resistant to changing your ways and your patterns. So that's something that you get to do. Okay. If you can do that, then you have investments being prosperous for you too. This also highlights our ability in our mind to change our mindset. I talk about this a lot. It's something that a lot of people, they're like, manifest, say this mantra 55 fucking thousand times. You, if you don't change this, you're not going to change your vibe. If you believe this thing, it's not going to change your vibe, which is not going to attract the things you want to you, but you've got to notice your pattern. If you have bad spending patterns, saving patterns, then you get to work on that this week. Okay. So that's good. I like that for you guys. Short and sweet. Talk to me about jobs and career. Talk to me about jobs and career. I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia in this week for you. Lots of nostalgia this week. I don't know. Remembering things, going to old places that make you happy. Talk to me about career, please. Give me three cards. Thank you. Okay. Some of you got some shit happening on your job. You got somebody there. I feel like many of you are trying to detach from your job because someone is not being accountable. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Okay. Um, 
and you feel like you constantly have to fold on your beliefs, seven of wands in reverse, you feel vulnerable and often overwhelmed there. Um, there's there it could, it could be causing you even health problems. So I do want to say right now, guys, be careful. If you're having any sort of health issues, there could be because there's this imbalance that's happening within the body here. Okay. Gemini is... I believe Gemini is the back, so I don't know if some of you are having back issues or hunching over or something like this. Just pay attention to your posturing and like your your structural stuff, okay? Especially if you're feeling overwhelmed. Are you scrunching up? Are you gritting your teeth, okay? There's stuff that could be going on from here and in here with you. Um, pay attention to this, okay? I feel like there's a lot of trust issues and a lot of like somebody not being accountable for themselves on your job. Um, and you otherwise are trying to cultivate something brand new for yourself with the um with the seven of pentacles okay you're working really hard but it feels like some of the stuff you're doing is making you go backwards what what is the universe trying to tell you at this time full disclosure an interesting side note because i feel like it fits here me and my cousin this is like my fourth cousin right um, we had this talk and he said, I've been offered this thing and I don't know. And I, and I said, is it better than what you got? He said, yeah. And I said, well, you got to ask yourself why you want to stay in your comfort zone because that's where dreams go to die. So if that resonates for you, I feel like this is the energy this week. If you're tolerating putting up, you know, with shit and you feel like you can't have boundaries because they're constantly being crossed, you're overwhelmed, you're always fearing feeling vulnerable you may be picked on or attacked by people at your work specifically for some of you your boss um why aren't you leaving right i get it the comfort zone i totally get it you guys and also why you know because that starts to give you health issues okay be be just be careful okay my loves all right, let's talk about love, please. What's going on with Leo? Give me an overall energy for love, please. Who's in Leo's space? What's Leo doing in love, please? Leo and love. Some of y'all are kind of in no mode. You have... Um, Pisces energy here in reverse. You may be feeling stuck, not certain about somebody that you're dealing with or about your love life at this time. Show me the recent past, please. Oh, that was it. Let me take these. The extra fell out. You have Gemini energy with the lovers. You broke up with somebody and stopped talking to them or they broke up with you and stopped talking to you. You have um, <laughs> definitely uh, some Scorpio slash Aries slash Gemini um, with the four of swords. Okay. A lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. Somebody might have put you through something. You could have been dealing with a twin flame here, but I think that this ended there. It was chaotic. Um, you know, you had to some of you filed bankruptcy because of this but i feel like you may have recently separated or divorced somebody uh and decided that you didn't want to talk to them anymore you just wanted to be alone and be in solitude okay y'all hear a lady she's out here acting a fool it is like what two in in the afternoon she's already screaming about her food you know i'm yeah you came out here you know i'm talking trash about you all right What's the current energy, please? What's currently happening with my Leos? I'm just doing this general, guys. I'm not picking whether you're in a connection or not. I'm just seeing what, what is up this week. Oh boy, you guys might feel like, might be feeling low energy, having a lack of ambition when it comes to being in any sort of connection. You're afraid of failure. You're just doing your thing. You're, you're just really doing your thing. Um, excuse me. Um, 
you know, you kind of feel like it's just a, a bigger risk. Like it's foolish to kind of jump into anything, especially when you're not really feeling like that's what you want to do for many of you. So I don't really feel like you're dealing with anybody. Some of you could be in a situation and this is you just trying to ignore what's actually happening and feeling like I just need to stand in my power. I might need to, you know, um, get myself out of this this kind of state of mind I'm in where I'm feeling like I don't know what direction I'm going I don't really know what I want I'm feeling a little you know uncertain I'm limiting all of this because based on this bad energy from the past not having a good um not having a good experience okay you otherwise are being your leo self being vibrant trying to take care of yourself looking good smelling good as always even when even on a bad day leo's just out here like hello still looking good okay you guys have been seeing me on some of my bad days and i look back at the videos and i'm like woman i still love this woman you're still beautiful you're still holding it down, you know, and that's something whether you're male or female, you should always say to yourself, regardless of the shit that I'm going through and right now, I am beautiful no matter what they say. My boobs can't bring me. These suckers are sitting on top of it. Do you see it? Listen, you can't bring me down today. All right. So, yeah, I just don't think you're into taking the risk. Right now, you just kind of want to do your thing because you don't feel very confident that you're going to meet somebody that's going to be, be blah. that's all, folks, be a benefit to you. All right, let's talk about the near future because I'll be talking all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. Huh. everyone you meet, they're dancing in the street all night long. Once you get started, you can't sit down. All right, what else do we got in your future? I see you being in your routine, doing your thing, having patience and persevering here with the Knight of Pentacles. But let's see, is this a guy coming toward you? Is this a lady coming toward you? You're letting go of some of your fears and anxieties with the moon in reverse. And we call that Pisces Cancer. What else for Leo in the near future? Okay, yeah. So, hey, excuse me. I'm in the middle of doing things. What are you talking? Come here. You hear this shit? She's screaming at me. Look at You see my friends over there? Stop being a brat, okay? Stop being mean. I'm doing things. Do you need to see what I'm doing here? Okay. So what I'm seeing here is you're going to still have a lack of motivation when it comes to dating in the near future. Okay. Um, you could be feeling still insecure, feeling like there's some fears that you need to let go of doing a little bit of work for yourself here. Okay. Because I just feel like with the Knight of pentacles, it feels like you're staying the course and it's like it, it, you don't want anything kind of taking you off that path. Okay. That's what I'm really seeing for you in the near future here, guys. All right. So let me see what is going to be, um, what you don't see coming. Okay. She doesn't like to be held. I don't know why none of my cats like to be held. This is my old lady. She's like 20. Okay. This is the one you hear stomping around screaming all the time for food. Like she was just getting all ma mousy with me. Her name's Lady Sassy Pants. All right. What doesn't Leo see coming in love though? What doesn't Leo see coming? Yeah, there's just going to be stagnation or disappointment coming toward you right now or like, um, you know, the world in reverse. It's like, maybe a repeat of something. There could be somebody that's coming that repeats again. It's like, it's, it's a door that's not yet closed. This person might come back around who was from the recent past. Oh yeah, oh God, here comes Toxic Terry. 
busted berry ain't willing to give up somebody just listen we we tired come here go away all right my mic's right here so death card in reverse scorpio energy you might have a hard time moving forward here um but again resisting change patterns Okay, we have a lack of success here, but we also have the devil, addictions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if some of you are trying to reconcile with this person, what you don't see coming is the same shit. Okay, more of the same stuff. Resistance to change, things not really changing, addictive patterns, um, depression, codependency, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If this is just you. This may be you doing your shadow work. Um, you may not see that another person that's coming into your life is again a person who is repeating exactly the last thing that you were dealing with. So you know what Mama Leo is going to say, my loves, my loves, my loves, just do the work, okay? Because the more you do the work and you see what your own patterns are, the more you and, and recognize what you were dealing with that is a pattern and the and the pattern you're dating, the more you're going to recognize when you see that crop up again and you could be like, nah, son, it's a wrap. It's a nope for me. Okay. Hashtag nope. Okay. Me and my friends say that hashtag nope. So that's what I'm seeing here. All right. Now I know y'all singles are like, girl, don't forget about us singles. I'm not forgetting you. Okay. Promise. I'm not forgetting you. I'm going to do a singles. I wasn't going to, but and well, let's see what's coming toward the single Leos who are not involved with anybody. Nothing going on. No dudes blowing up their Facebook dating. <laughs> People like me in the lonely zone. <laughs> All right. Well, who is coming toward my single Leos? Please show me who this is. Who's coming toward my single Leos next? Not good. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is uh, somebody who does not, this is like an unwelcome sort of energy. Okay. So it could be somebody that you meet that's a little bit pestery, like they're trying to hang on to you, but you're not interested. What else? Could be some delays and setbacks with this person. It's Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's bad luck, you know? <sighs> okay. Give me one more, please. Okay, I would say that you're going to meet somebody who might be well off here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and they could have some influence. They could be some old money, you know what I'm saying? But we have the Two of Pentacles here. This is juggling, you know. This is a person going back and forth with you, creating a lot of stress um, in between you and somebody else. And this could cause a lot of disruption in your life because this person doesn't have um, maybe like a, a lot of control over, um, their spending or cause they can just spend like that, or they're just back and forth between you and somebody else. Let me clarify this for a second. Can you clarify this for me? Who's coming toward Leo single Leos, please clarify this. Okay. Definitely dealing with somebody who has some sort of money, okay? Um, and I feel like, give me some more cards here. You want this person to make up your mind uh, to choose you. Okay, but th this, I don't think that this is gonna go well. I think that you're gonna... I feel almost like you meet somebody else when you meet this person. So right at the point when you start to realize this person's kind of wishy-washy with you is when I think you meet somebody else here. It could be a cancer. Okay. Could be a cancer. We have the chariot. We have the king of pentacles. Okay. So it feels like right when you decide that this person is a little bit meh, irresponsible, and back and forth with you because you're nervous about this. This is when somebody else new is coming in for you, okay? 
Tell me about this new, new person after this weirdo. Tell me about that new, new person. Tell me about that new, new person, please, for Leo. This person doesn't have the kind of money that this first person has, but this is going to shake you up because we got the lover's card out. Um, this person is sees a great opportunity with you and they're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? Um, you might be a little bored with them though. That's the thing. I feel like four cups in reverse, you might get a little bit bored with this person, but this is going to be the end of like a long period of stagnation with you and a person where it hasn't been working. Okay. They're not going to have ace of pentacles in reverse. Isn't great, but it, what it feels like to me is that there's a lack of, um, the, the like financial end that this person has, but you have desire and a real connection with this person um and they're they're going to seize the opportunity with you that really is the four of cups in, in reverse it's noticing that there's that extra cup there and saying oh shit i'm not going to dwell on the past i'm going to actually seize this opportunity so either you're doing this or they're doing this but it's gemini it's uh definitely twin flame energy um there's going to be great communication for you guys um, you'll feel like kindred spirits. It's a really good match for you. All right. And the rest you can work on. You know what I'm saying, fam? All right. So that's what I got for you guys that, that pretty much closes up the major portions of this reading. I'm going to get my angel card. Like I always get for you. So let me see what, what the angels want to say. Let's see what the angels need to say all right what's the message for my lovely leo's sun moon rising today listen to your intuitive feelings your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine okay so either you're intuiting through your physical body you could have like clear audience smelling what you hear this right you hear this come here Come, come sit with me. You can spend the rest of the time with me. Okay. Either, um, you know, you're receiving messages through your physical body, which it says, but also, like I said before, you may be receiving messages in your sleep, in your dreams about your physical body. So remember we had Neptune with the first house that talks about our, our self, right? Our ego, the I am. Um, so definitely pay attention to any messages you're getting give your body the time and the rest it needs and if something's happening make sure you go get that looked at okay all right all right guys i love you thank you so much for being here say bye bye lady sassy pants bye bye happy halloween everybody or whatever you guys sam Haim, i don't know whatever y'all celebrate i just like to get dressed up and have a good time um i hope you have a safe and happy holiday wherever you are guys we'll see you later